Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So today I've got something a little bit different for you. We're gonna be taking a look at an e-bike. This is from Magicycle. Now I'm not an e-bike expert by any means. This is actually my fourth e-bike and I've been riding them now for just a little over a year. And I must say I've been really enjoying them. Now this is not gonna be an overly technical review. If you want something a little more technical, there are a lot of uh, YouTube channels and websites that deal just with e-bikes. This is gonna be more of a user experience style review. And I can assume too, if you're doing a search for this particular brand, perhaps that's what you're looking for, how I've enjoyed it, what my thoughts are on it, and if I have any complaints. There's nothing that's really popped out at me that I would uh, think that, hey, I wish that was different. The only thing, if anything, I would suggest is a different seat. Uh, everybody has different preferences for seat. You know, those seats are not very comfortable. A higher quality seat might have been nice, but that's kind of across the board for every e-bike. If you want a better quality seat, that's something you'll have to purchase separately. But the bike itself is actually quite nice. Lots of power and just really a whole lot of fun to ride. Basically, this bike has a 52 volt battery, a 750 watt motor, so it's fairly powerful. And I'm a pretty big guy. The weight capacity of this bike is 350 pounds. Now I'm getting pretty close to that and it moves me around with no issue. I can get up hills with no problem at all. So I have no complaints with the power of this bike. Now when it comes to range, how far you can get on a single charge, that's gonna be different for everybody. It's rated anywhere from 50 to 80 miles. Now there's a couple different factors that are going to affect the range. First of all, the rider weight, somebody who's 120 pounds, it's going to get a little further, a little more mileage than somebody who weighs 300 pounds. It also depends on the train in which you are cycling. If you're using the pedal assist a lot and the throttle a lot to get up hills, you're going to drain through the battery quite a bit quicker. And again, if you're just using full throttle or you're actually doing some pedaling as well, again, that's going to extend the battery. Now, I haven't done any kind of range tests with it at all, uh, but my wife and I, when we're out, sometimes we'll put about 20 kilometers on in a day and uh, you know we still come back with plenty of power half the battery at least so pretty pleased with that now as mentioned i am not an expert uh, this is the fourth e-bike that i now own and uh, i ride them actually quite a bit when we're heading out just to do some drone flying instead of driving you know with the price of gas we just hop on the e-bike there's a lot of nice bike paths and trails all through our city so usually I can get to anywhere I need to go. And a bike like this is good for off-road riding as well. You can see there it has those nice fat tires on it. They are a 26 by four inch tire. It's got a fairly aggressive tread on it. So you're gonna get good grip in different types of terrain. It's got a nice heavy duty aluminum alloy frame. As you can see there, it has a seven speed Shimano shifter. And of course it's got disc brakes. Little bell here for safety. And then over here on the left hand side is the power controls. That's how we power it on. And we also have a plus and minus button to set our power assist. There's actually seven levels of power assist. So whether you want no power assist, you can leave it at zero. Or if you just want a little bit, you can set it at one or again, all the way up to seven. So a bike like this is still good to get exercise because you know, you don't have to use the power assist. You can just go out and pedal. And you know, of course, if you come to something like a hill and you want a little bit of help, you can then just put a little bit on. But of course, if you're in full laze mode, you can use just the throttle. This particular model comes standard with a back bike rack. So, you know, that does come in quite handy. Uh, you can get different types of bags in that that will also hook on top. It makes it a little bit more versatile if you have gear you want to carry along with you. It's got both front and rear LED lights. So if you're going to be riding at night or in low light conditions, you can turn them on and uh, make it a little bit safer for you. And it's got a hydraulic suspension front fork, so it makes the ride a little smoother, especially if you're doing any kind of off-road riding. And lastly, I'm just gonna flip this up here so you can see. I don't know if you can see that there on camera, but there's a USB port built right into the bottom there. So you can plug a phone in if you're gonna mount your phone as well. That way you can charge it from the battery within the bike. So that's a nice little feature as well. Now, as mentioned, it is a very heavy duty bike and it weighs about 76 pounds. So that is something to keep in mind. It's not an overly heavy bike, but it's not super light either. So if you've got a lot of stairs, if you live in an apartment building that you're gonna to have to carry it up and down, that is definitely something that you should keep in mind. And I just wanna point out here, you can see here, I've got a water bottle holder attached to it. That does not come with it. That was just a third party attachment that I bought but it does have the mount built into the frame there, so you can mount one quite easy. So it's really all I have to say about it. Like I said, I am not an e-bike expert. Um, all I can say is that we've really enjoyed it. It's given us no problems. We've had it for about two months, as mentioned, 
and it's a really smooth riding bike, very comfortable to ride. Other than the seat, that's one thing I am going to upgrade on it sometime here in the near future. Uh, but it's not overly bad either, you know, it's just a standard seat. But we have been super pleased with it and we are actually thinking about purchasing a second one. I actually, we kind of fight over who gets to ride this one, so we're thinking about maybe picking up a second one. If you have any questions about this bike, let me know down in the comments. I'll try to answer them the best I can. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, it's always greatly appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.